I am Alice. Thank you for being here. We will start our laughter session right after the amazing intro. <laughs> Don't go nowhere. I will be here right after. again everyone so today I like to share with you a story of how uh, the wine Japanese wine called sake which is made from uh, rice uh, start being used to celebrate uh, things at least that's what I've read uh, years ago I don't even remember where I read that but uh, the story is so beautiful and inspiring I hope it uh, brings you uh, joy today as well so in japan years ago many many centuries ago there was this little village and uh, the neighbor village was a bigger one more uh, rich more uh, powerful and uh, they wanted to take over this little village and uh, they communicate they and uh, it came to a point that uh, the little village were um, forced to fight uh, in a combat with this big uh, neighbor and uh, the landlord of this little village knew that uh, they were in a smaller in a big this this advantage they were uh, less in manpower, they were poorer, but they had something that the big one wanted. And um, the landlord uh, gathered all his men and he decided to offer a feast for them. So he prepared food and uh, he gave to them offered uh, sake the uh, Japanese rice made of uh, Japanese wine I'm sorry made of r rice and uh, back then uh, a good quality of uh, sake was very uh, expensive and uh, common ordinary people they could never taste of it so expensive it was and uh, he offered to all the men and uh, in uh, how to say in uh, na gratitude in a sign of a gratitude for them to fight the next day against that big uh, neighbor and then all the men each one of them they were so honored and so grateful for the landlord who were offering and giving them such a expensive exquisite uh, feast for them that night each one of them solidified in their heart that they would honor their landlord and they will fight with all their hearts and their uh, will so the next morning they fought and uh, the small village the men they fought with such a will such a powerful gratitude and honor in their spirit 
guess what happened? Yeah? They won. They won the battle. And the neighbor was so uh, impressed that uh, they didn't ever bother the little village anymore. So this story um, remind me of honor. It is a great honor have given life to live here on this earth. It is not a coincidence that we are here living and interacting and meeting, meeting each other and uh, being part of each other's lives. It is not a coincidence. It is all written by God in this huge web of connections that only Him knows. And uh, being such an honor living here, this story is a great reminder of gratitude. There are so many that are not here anymore that were here before us and there are so many that will be here after us but this moment today that we are living right now is a great honor and uh, should be lived with a great gratitude And uh, gratitude is something that uh, um, we feel great, uh, grateful, uh, but um, sometimes I was just uh, watching a uh, video of that uh, Japanese monk <laughs> that I start uh, following, and he was saying that uh, nowadays we have so many things uh, available uh, that uh, and uh, we. The tendency of us is uh, having them all granted, such as uh, hot water, heater system, AC system, uh, internet connection, and so on and so on. And uh, one way of um, having that gratitude connected again and align with our heart and spirit would be today um, forget about one thing um, let's say or we can in, in the, the north northern uh, hemisphere it is getting colder because of the winter time so if that's the case if, and you live in the cold winter a season now just uh, go outside and uh, wear just one sweatshirt so you won't freeze and uh, stay there and feel the coldness the air the crispy air and uh, feel that you are cold stay there for as much as you want and then come back home i guarantee that you feel so cozy with the warmth of your house those are very simple gratitude and uh, that we have granted most of us but uh, the practicing practice of gratitude 
but I do know that um, many of you already practice gratitude. But it's always good to renew the spirit of gratitude, right? So, uh, doing little things like that or um, deprive yourself of uh, listening to music if you love music or if you love a reading or just stay out of whatever you love or whatever gives you comfort just for today so the next time you do that whatever it is you feel so grateful so this is my little thinking for today <laughs> shall we start our session now <laughs> I do hope that you all can renew being grateful for being alive and feel the honor of being here right now on this earth. Remember that uh, every single action and thought that you have always go through the ripple effect of this universe and uh, even if you don't think that it is relevant it is every single thought and every single action even a gaze gazing the horizon during a sun rising or a sunset or gazing the sky and the formation of the clouds even that will interfere with the rest of the beings here in this magnificent magical connection that God put us together I do hope that you all have a beautiful day full of blessings and uh, joy in your heart that is already in there. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye now.